Good morning. Today is Holy Saturday, the day we remember Jesus in the tomb. On this day, the disciples were mourning the loss of their friend, of their teacher. The disciples were confused. They weren't sure what was going to happen next. They were scared to leave their homes for fear of their own lives. They, um, they just were frightened. They were scared and they just weren't sure what was going to happen next. Um, we can feel a little bit of what they're feeling and a little bit of the anxiety that we have of being unsure of what is coming next. Tomorrow for us marks five Sundays that we have not been able to be together as a church family. Tomorrow is Easter, and it will certainly be an Easter unlike any we have ever experienced before. Just a month ago, we were making plans for a glorious Easter celebration. I'm sure that you were making plans to be with family, to be with friends. You were making reservations for brunch. Um, and, and suddenly, plans changed. Suddenly, everything is different. And um, this, this Easter, it won't be the same. We'll still celebrate Easter, but it won't be the same. And I'm thinking that maybe that's okay. Because sometimes we focus a lot during the Easter season on springtime and gatherings and brunch and Easter bunny and eggs and uh, new outfits for the whole family. And all those things are great. But maybe this Easter, we're going to be able to scale back and really focus on the true meaning of Easter. And I think that might just be okay for all of us. When I think about the time when the disciples heard the news of Jesus, that Mary came and shared this good news with them, I can only imagine what their thoughts might have been, what those first moments might have been. And I hope that you'll give some consideration to that. I hope that you'll think about um, some of that fear and anxiety that the disciples were experiencing on this Holy Saturday, and then the amazement of what they were able to experience on Easter morning. And I hope that tomorrow when Easter arrives and you open your door and you feel the sun shine in on you, I hope that you will think, oh my word, I have heard the good news that Jesus is alive. He is risen indeed. What a different Easter this is going to be for all of us, but I think it's going to be okay. I think we're going to be able to worship and focus on the true meaning of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.